hitting a perfect 10. Lenovo already has a very successful lineup of affordable budget notebooks, the IdeaPad 3 series. Today we have a clone of the IdeaPad 3 that is called the V17 Gen 2. It keeps the large display and some of the hardware selection of the IdeaPad, which could be enough for entry-level and beginner creator work. On the outside, we are greeted by a plastic chassis with questionable build quality. Due to the thin profile and low weight, which measure at 19.9 mm and 2.2 kg, respectively, there are bendy areas such as the lid and the keyboard deck. There is plenty of space on the base, with a keyboard unit, a touchpad and a fingerprint reader. There is also a numpad along with plenty of space for you to rest your hands. The speakers are found on the bottom along with a decently sized cooling vent. The keyboard here is a superstar, with both a backlight and spill resistance. As for the experience, we have good enough key travel and clicky feedback. The touchpad has a mylar cover, which is plenty smooth, while the clicking mechanism is comfortable and has a satisfying click. On the sides we find the I.O. which shows the budget nature of the laptop. There are two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, both a Type-A and a Type-C. You also have a slower USB 2.0 port, which we advise you to leave for peripherals. More importantly, you have an HDMI out port, an audio jack and an SD card reader. Under the hood we have a modest cooling solution with one heat pipe and one fan and a 45 watt hours battery pack. There is also a single SATIM slot that works to expand the 4GB or 8GB of soldered RAM that you already have. For storage you have one M.2 PCIe X4 slot and optional space for a 2.5 inch SSD if you choose to configure the device with a smaller 38 watt hours battery. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! As we said before, the Full HD IPS display here is great. Offering decent peak brightness of around 350 nits, good uniformity, high contrast ratio and near full sRGB coverage. What's more, the accuracy gets really good when we applied our design and gaming profile, which lowered the delta E value down to 1.1. The 45 watt hours battery unit gives us nearly 9 hours of web browsing and almost 7 hours of video playback. There are 4 processors to choose from, with us testing the Core i5 1135G7 powered variant. You get decent performance, however, keep your expectations in check as this isn't a device that can sustain longer and heavier wall clothes. To help speed up your creator work, you can also buy the device with a discrete MX350 GPU, which has dedicated memory and can quicken rendering times. For that, you can also use the integrated graphics, which are quite good. The cooling doesn't seem capable of sustaining a load on the chip, as we see the clock speeds go down and down, along with the temperatures. At the end of our stress test, the CPU ran at its base speed. On the other hand, the outside temperature is really low, at only 35.5 degrees Celsius. In general, there are a lot of positives about the V17 Gen 2 which, at least for us, managed to outshine the negatives. Mainly, however, we are delighted by the display and the possibility of having an entry-level creator device for an affordable price. Of course, we've done a lot more tests and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.